Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm the resident expert here at Scassell on all your knitting machine needs, and I'm here to show you how to take apart your machine in case you ever need to replace a part. This little yarn guide, if it ever breaks, have no fear. There's more where those came from. I know I've been there when you open your guide to put in the yarn and you're ready to get cranking and you forget to close it. If that ever happens, it could break, so don't worry, but you might need a new one. <laughs> Um, so in order to get that on, all you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver and you're going to want to go in from the top of your machine and simply unscrew and be sure that you have a level space to put your screws so they don't roll away. Once you have taken out all your screws, you can simply just grab the yarn guide and it will be attached to this little black ring like so. And from here, you're going to take your screwdriver again and remove the two screws attaching this ring to your guide. very easy to replace. Once you get everything unscrewed, oh, it should just come right off. <laughs> In order to put your new yarn guide on, it should come with two extra screws, so you're going to want to make sure you remove those first. And if you're not sure which way it goes, you can put the ring kind of back on your machine and just get a good look at what's going on. It should fit just like this. So that the funnel will be directing the yarn into your machine. And then you just screw it back on. Once you have your new guide attached, it's ready to be put back on your machine. And you simply line up these little notches on your ring with the threads on your machine. And again, just screw it back on. Don't be afraid to, you know, kind of stagger screwing things back in a little bit so you don't over tighten one side over the other. <laughs> 